Okay, we need a new slide to move things along, so let's go up to the Insert menu. New slide or Shift Command V is the shortcut for this. And in this slide, we are going to start putting in some other things. So let's add a caption. And we're going to start with step one. We'll copy this from down below. Do a paste into here. I'm going to click outside and move this up, kind of upper left. Let's modify this, maybe reef this up to about a 35. Let's go for 40. And then I'm also going to bold the bread. So Command B works just like it does in word processing here. The next thing I need is another caption. I'm just going to paste it in here. And then again, click outside so I can move this. Maybe stretch this. 25 here I can live with that. I want these two things to align with each other, so I'm going to grab this one and then select this one. And so I'm going to go up to the Modify menu, Align to the left, so the bump left. Actually, those guys were aligned, so that's cool. So that's all good. I don't want this to happen at the same time in the timeline, so the title is going to come in with the slide, that's fine. I'm going to grab this one and just slide it back a couple seconds. I'll give you two seconds to read that title, and then this is going to fade in. I'm also not crazy about that color. Let's change that to something maybe a little more jelly-esque. All right, so that's fine. Let's save this. And I'm going to go bring in an image. We'll go up to the Insert menu again, all the way down to Image or Shift-Command-M for images for some reason. Uh, this is opening up to my default window. This is the same folder you guys have. We're going to go in order. So number one is the bread JPEG. We'll just click open. Drops it in in the center as everything. I'm going to use my arrow keys and the shift key to nudge over. Let's go for about 20 clicks. And then I'm going to save this again. This is all cool. All right, so this is all fine. I'm actually going to use this slide kind of as the master slide for everything that comes after it. So I don't have to keep readjusting all of these um, elements. It really drives me crazy when you see multiple slides that aren't aligned with each other. Things are just shifted off a little bit or not even close. And you get into kind of that uncanny valley situation where it's like, uh, it's so close, just fix it. You know, being that close makes me even more angry than if it was completely off. So this way, everything just is, and we leave it that way. So I'm going to click over here in the film strip. I'm going to do a command D to duplicate this slide. And then I'm just going to modify stuff as it is. So I'm going to go down to step two in my text and highlight that. Paste that in. I'm going to double click on the peanut butter and bold that. Go down again and grab my text for the next section. Just paste that. It expands to fit. That's cool. We will get rid of the image. We're going to place another one. Uh, Shift Command M is the shortcut for that. Go on to number two. And then remember it was 20 clicks over with the Shift key. So that's technically 200 pixels, I guess. And then let's check just to make sure our alignment is right. Yeah, so that's cool. All right, so, so far everything's good. What I forgot to do in both of these slides was to nudge the, the image over. I don't want it to come in at zero. Let's say I'll give you a count of five seconds to do that. And then with this selected, I'm going to do a Command E, and it'll extend automatically to the end of the slide. So then when I adjust, it'll always update. Let's do the same thing for this. Let's slide it to five seconds, and then with Command E, so those all go. All right, so far so good, let's save this. So the trouble we have now is we're set up just to keep jamming. You saw in the previous module, Captivate, it just keeps going through slides. So when this one's done, it's going to run into this one. When it runs through this one, it's going to run through this one. We want to put a little button in here to stop it, just in case someone wants to pause or there's more text than they can read in 10 seconds and they uh, need some time to chill with it. So we're going to go back to this frame. We're going to insert a button. We can do it over here in the tools or also up here in insert. This is considered a standard object and button down here, shift command B. When that gets dropped in, of course, in the center, like everything, we're going to move it down lower right. And then the default text button, I'm not that crazy about. I kind of like the image buttons. They're a little more interactive. They change when you go over them, and they're a little more stylish. And yeah, check this out. Let's just use this next button right here. That's, that looks cool. So now that's selected. Everything there is fine. I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to copy this, and go to the next frame. And we'll do a paste, Command-V. One of the cool things about Captivate is every time you copy-paste something, uh, it's essentially a paste in place. It'll paste it not only in uh, in space where it is, but also in time where it is. So I guess technically we should have moved this down before we pasted it. it. Would have saved us doing this again. And you can tell in the timeline this guy's green because it's an interactive element rather than a static blue. And then this pause sign in the middle sort of tells you where it will actually pause. So it's going to play until it hits that pause. And then when you click on it, it'll play the rest of that section. You can adjust this by sliding back and forth if you want to. For now, everything's cool. 
All right, so we are going to use these slides to kind of make the rest of the slides and get up to the quiz section. So I'm going to pause for now and let you guys uh, get to work for a little bit, and we'll catch you in the quiz time. Good luck.